Welcome back, everybody, to live coverage at uh, London Chess Classic here with myself, Lawrence Trent, Grandmaster David Howe, and we're joined by um, the first game that's finished today, um, world champion Vishy Anand and Grandmaster Gawain Jones, and thank you for coming in. Uh, for all of you who haven't seen, Vishy has won the game. Um, a, a, a tough day at the office for you today, Gawain, really. Yeah, well, yeah, the problem was I just had uh, too much to prepare this morning, and this wasn't on the list. And, right, uh, so you didn't expect so a, a King's Indian type Grunfeld possibility from Vishy? Yeah, well, I knew it was possible, uh, but no, I didn't expect it. So okay. And it's quite interesting because the line that you employed going, of course, is a line that Vishy knows quite well from a certain <laughs> match. If I can't remember some, <laughs> some, some match he played for the World Championship, while ago. and I was, I thought it was quite, um, quite uh, brave of you yeah. to go down that. But clearly, you must Full have looked at this some, at least at some point, um, to go into it. And obviously, this line. Um, I suppose, if, if, should we rattle through the first few moves, uh, Vishy, because they're quite well known, aren't they? The, certainly if we get to, certainly around here, I think the most in interesting point was around H4, wasn't it? Um, and if all of us in the commentary room and next door were, you know, come on, <laughs> come on, Gar, get that H-pawn down the board. Um, but of course it's... It's not that easy to checkmate the world champion. So, what, what were your thoughts around here? Have you seen this, Vishy? Have you looked at this variation with H4? Well, th this is my game with Gelfand, actually. This is actually the yeah, direct. This is my third uh, round game against Gelfand. And the one I was hoping to repeat in game eight, if that had been the case. Okay. Uh, except he switched. And uh, the thing is, I, I castled instead of uh, knight h3. This move caught me by <coughs> surprise. The thing is, I, I, I had not. I, I decided to try him in the Grunfeld because. Uh, I couldn't find a single Slav game of his. It's just non-existent. So I had no idea which system to look at and so on. Um, and clearly, he um, I thought he might have, uh, in the way that against the Nimzo, he has some interesting systems. He might have looked at something new, but I thought I might uh, surprise him with the Grunfeld and um, follow. Well, I had some ideas in his game against uh, Hikaru. But then, um, so yeah. when we got here, yeah. Knight H3, I didn't really remember myself, so I was also on my own here. The only thing is, well, the question is what happens after knight yeah. d5. Yeah, I hope I could take this. And yeah, and just... the point is bishop c4 doesn't work because of check, queen h4 check, yeah. so I can just show yeah. you that. Yeah. And then this one. Yeah. So, um, but you know, there's rook d1, there's knight g5, there's bishop c5. I mean, there is stuff. I don't know. Um, well, there's no point giving you an evaluation just yeah. off the top I mean, of my head. But before um, we go on, uh, this is a bit of shameless uh, advice seeking, but uh, as a Grunfeld player most of my life, is this the way to face 3f3 as black? <laughs> it's, it's one of the ways. There are, <laughs> there are very good systems <laughs> against it. So. We, we had a, a suggestion next door that maybe just, uh, I think Nepomniachtchi said, Bishop takes h3 is a very sensible move, followed by rook c8, or even he said knight c8, which was very positional, but maybe just rook c8 there, and, mm -hmm. and you know, we were looking I'm at happy lines. About Sorry? I'd happy to see knight c8, I think. Yeah, I know you'd be happy to see knight c8, <laughs> but even that's, it looks as though black's yeah, I guess position resource, resourceful there, that's coming in. Black's always got this knight f5 idea as well yeah. in a lot of lines. I can play g4, can I? Just yeah. Just so uh, that, yeah, I couldn't remember anything because I hadn't looked at it this morning and I was just, I didn't really want to keep following a game of fishies to see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was just trying to... Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, like see it, if, if it wasn't Nepomniachtchi, we wouldn't pay any attention to this movie, so <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> so, uh, but him being a Grunfeld expert, we have to take it. Yeah. <laughs> we have no. to look at it. But, okay, so... But so then, E4 was really interesting. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I tried to... Uh, see if there was anything wrong with this, and I couldn't see it. I thought in every line I'm getting composition, and somehow to play knight d5, especially since um, I think both of us were not sure when we were walking into the other's preparation, sure. so I decided to go for this. <laughs> and um, thankfully he started thinking, which confirmed kind of that uh, he hadn't looked at this now. Yeah. Now the problem was I wanted to play this knight g5 move when I played knight h3, 
But then, yeah, the F3, line E, F3, GF3, Bishop F5. Let's get that on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, well, it just takes, takes, and I thought Bishop F5 is a reasonable point. Yeah, and then Bishop D3, Queen D7, Queen D7 is the problem. Queen is a good substitute on F5. I couldn't find a good move here. I mean, one thing we were wondering about. I could play with the knight on F4 as well, but. I mean, maybe, were you wondering about maybe castling? Yeah, yeah, but then take, 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 Well, it's just a game. Yeah. Okay, you're a Grunfeld player. So you well. <laughs> um, I mean, I was curious how far down my game he would go, but because um, I was trying to remember, I mean, I had not checked it uh, today morning, but and the lines are nightmarish. You don't play by general <laughs> principles, but. No. Um, yeah, he, he did this. Bishop f4. Looked strange that move going. We yeah, no, I think it's probably a big mistake. Uh, but I started missing lots of exactly things. exactly what he should so. play because uh, I'm threatening, first of all, rook f1 check, yeah. knight c4. Yeah. After bishop d4, I may well have the same possibility anyway. And. Uh, Could you simply swap and play queen h4 check as well? After bishop d4. So. Oh, yeah, sure. So, yeah. Yeah, this might be awkward as well. Um, they that screen as well. Ah, yeah. That might be it's easy. Switched, yeah, screen something like that, yeah, as well. So, um, when he went here, I think, and then... Yeah, and I wish I was going to get bishop g5. I mean, so uh, it, white's badly behind in development, and black's got these two knights, b6, and then, you know, threatening yeah. from c4. And to make so many moves with one piece just felt wrong. But I couldn't find a good way to stop queen h4, check, or, mm -hmm. and knight c4. Sure. So it's I mean, maybe black is just kind of okay here. Um, but then it was clear to me that he just blundered. Uh, that yeah. he missed rook f1 check. Yeah, I, yeah, I just started missing everything. Yeah. Somehow I saw it after queen d7, but not after queen c5. Yeah. The idea. Rook takes f1 check. Wins my knight. So this works for. Yeah. The knight goes. And, yeah, so, well, there are many similar themes coming around. He took, yeah. and I didn't see anything better than bishop h3. I mean, I was hoping uh, for some something easier, but I did this. Because uh, I didn't see what to do for this. Um, I'll get to it in a second. The first thing is rook c1 doesn't work because of uh, rook f1 check. Uh, rook f1, queen c1 check, and I remain a piece up at the end. Yes. Beautiful variation. Then um, bishop e3 loses to queen c8, so I think that's fairly straightforward here. Yeah. The problem for him is his rook and knight get forked even after regaining a move to rook c1. That's yeah. the problem for white. But I didn't actually see a forced win here. I mean, obviously, I was going to settle in and try and find something. The problem was rook f1 check, king f1. If rook f8 check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't this just winning then for rook you? Rook f3. How is it? Take it and take on a3 at the end. Well, then rook c1. That's Can I just problem. play rooks? And then uh, knight c4, I take on a3. Well, knight c4, just yeah. play a3. And the problem is I can't There's even no go to e7 with. and take on e4, which would be yeah. something. But <laughs> even that I didn't uh, have. And rook d3 ticks, tricks don't work because the bishop's on g5 defending both. And so here, there is one other trick after uh, rook h3. I don't know where I'm going backwards. Um, which I was trying to get, which is knight c4 first. Mm -hmm. And if knight takes c4, then uh, rook f8 check. So we get the same as in the game, except now after rook f3, I play queen takes c4 check. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have king g2, which is the point of this mm -hmm. line. So if king f2, then knight f3 and queen e4 is going to be winning. If queen e2, then knight d2 wins, because mm -hmm. takes then the Double thing. check, yeah. But all this is very nice, but I didn't... Uh, I wasn't sure that it's uh, accurate. Um, so some move. It's not bishop e3, because it's a check. Oh, maybe knight c4 works then. Is queen f2 legal or not? Well, then rook f8. Uh, rook f3. Um, queen f2 check. Yeah, rook one takes. sec. So uh, let's try queen f2. So rook f8, rook f3. And now these tricks don't work with knight takes f3. So I would have to take this. Well, I can go rook takes, no? Uh, sorry, yeah, you can go rook takes. And... Uh, I, I don't, well, knight a3, even the rook can just move and it's again. It's not, uh, the two knights are not. 
Although you can probably just play B A three anyway. My king is not. Uh, yeah. yeah. So this was my problem. After Rook H three, I didn't see a forced win, and Queen G one looked very tempting. But after Queen E two, the problem is I don't have much time. He's threatening Bishop B three himself. And. Mm -hmm. Actually, I thought you might play that immediately mm. with bishop still on c8. Ah, even. Okay, well, that's lovely then, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, could you play Well, I hope I would have gotten here by illumination, but I was obviously <laughs> trying rook f1 very yeah. enthusiastically at the board. So, um, maybe I would have stumbled on it eventually, <laughs> because... Uh, you just have to invert the rook f1 and knight c4 idea. Um, okay, so then then it's just lost. Bishop e3. Yeah, that's why I, I played rook c1 to try and stop these knight c4s. Yeah. But, uh, oh, bishop e3 and rook c4. And then yeah. queen g4, the problem is it doesn't change anything. Yeah, when I went into this initially, I'd seen the line except that b2's hanging at the end yeah. and thought, oh, that's okay. But I just missed far too many things today. Well, it looked. Actually, often that just goes to show it's not as easy as it as it sometimes looks. I mean, I know it was flowing and so on, but there were still some difficulties there. And uh, but um, we we we're looking for a few tweets um, to ask you. Um, but while we haven't got any, any 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 good questions in the crowd? Because that's a relatively short analysis of a game compared to what we've had so far, mm. and uh, we've had some marathons. So, any questions for yes, sir, at the back? Um. Let, let me just repeat for the crowd, um, for the online crowd. Um, this is your first win in a few classical games, uh, Vishy. How, has, is that going to have an impact on, on things? Or? Well, I, I don't know what it will lead to, but I'm happy today, that's clear. So. <laughs> Any other questions from the audience? No questions yeah, from the audience? No? Okay. What? Um, All right. Well, it doesn't look like we've got any <laughs> tweets at the moment. So, um, um, before you guys go, any thoughts on the remaining games? Yes, let's get that. As you've only been here for five minutes, let's uh, <laughs> let's so try that. Fine. So we've got Adams Carlson. That looked as though Mickey was slightly better. Remember, we've got that screen at the back there. Let's just go to the. Um, oh, you've got Vlad's game. Okay, let's look at the Kramnik McShane game. Now, Luke. Has got um, five minutes for 18 moves, <laughs> um, which shouldn't surprise us too much. But it's a very complex game. Um, it looks as though Vlad has sacked an exchange there for clear positional compensation. He'd been offering the exchange for a long time, hadn't he? Yeah. yeah. Well, basically, I would say that. Uh, White must be close to, close to winning. Yeah. White's close to winning there. Okay. In the event, if I had to take, I would take this position in a must win situation in a match. It's okay. so lovely. Yeah. Uh, Everything's The computer might defend for a while, but you know, basically. So. Okay. So we expect a Vladdy win. Especially yeah. with only five minutes left for Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's just this king in the center as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and just like the white in never any danger. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's look at the next one then. So the, uh, the next one is let's look at the Mickey game versus Magnus. Because this is a crucial game for the tournament, of course. Because if Mickey were to win this, then that's a, a six-pointer, as we say in football. You know, you beat the guy at the top, and you get three points as well. So, what, what, what's your uh, assessment of this one? As well, it, it can't, it's not a huge anything, but um, clearly Mickey is the one pressing. So, but you know, Black has got a lot of play. Um, something like Queen F4 and. Knight F3. No, I don't know, but uh, Mickey's better, but I don't, know how, I don't think it's huge yet. Okay. So we're thinking good drawing chances. Good drawing there. chances there. Uh, well, he's active, and that bishop on D6 is very solid, and somehow I think uh, there's still work to be done before Mickey's very well. Okay. So, so it's still all to play for in that game. Um, how about Polgar Nakamura? Polgar Nakamura. Now, this was an interesting one because. It looked as though Hikaru was doing really well out the opening. Um, <coughs> let's just fast forward to the current position. So I think Judith has... 
I think uh, Rookie D8 is good. Sure Chief is out of danger. Though if anyone's better, it's probably still black. Um, because it just has more space and more squares. I mean, this white queen is fine where it is, but it doesn't have a lot of squares, squares to go to. So, uh, if anyone's better, it's black, but I, I think it's probably okay for them. Are you thinking the G2 weaknesses? Anything? Well, it's more severe than the G7 one. Yeah. Uh, so. But it could simplify mm -hmm. quite quickly. I mean, my hunch is it's not used. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, guys, and for coming in. Uh, Round of applause.